Hi, Brian Lagarde here, and the question of the day is, what's best for me, a static or a dynamic IP address for my DVR system? First, let's examine what is the difference between a static and a dynamic IP address. Static IP addresses, they cost more. They're not necessarily any faster unless you pay for the extra speed. However, what they do give you is a never-changing IP address. The address that you have today is the address you're going to have tomorrow and the day after that, the week after that, the month after that, so on and so forth. Dynamic IP addresses, they do change. How often? Completely depends on your internet service provider. Could be once a day, once a week, once a month. You never know. Again, it depends on your internet service provider. So, how does this relate to DVR systems? If you're using an older DVR system or a non-advanced DVR system, it can make a big difference for you. With older or non-advanced DVR systems, if you don't know what your current IP address is and you want to see your cameras over the internet, you're not going to be able to because you're not going to know what address to type into your, into your software or into your browser window. Now, with a advanced DVR system, such as the PC Witness Pro DVR, it has a built-in beacon, a dynamic IP address beacon. So if you're using a dynamic IP address, it's going to constantly keep you in touch regardless of how often your IP address changes. It's going to constantly keep you in sync. Your IP address changes, it's going to alert you to the change or automatically sync in the client software. Well, obviously, this is a good thing. This means that you can pay for dynamic IP address, which again costs less than a static IP address, enjoy the same level of speed, and you don't miss out on a thing. Bottom line is you're going to be able to see your cameras. So my suggestion, if you can, if you have a newer or advanced style DVR system, it doesn't make a difference under most practical circumstances. Go with the dynamic, save yourself some money, and you'll still be able to see your cameras just as fast over the internet. Now, if you do so happen to have an older style DVR or a non-advanced DVR that does not have the beacon type of service built into it, there is a way around it. Uh, go ahead and uh, ask a question to our form and ask us how can I see my uh, DVR over a dynamic IP address and there's software that we can recommend to you free of charge and it will help keep your DVR in contact with you when you're away on the road or whatever it might be. Uh, in essence, it's software that goes into one of your computers in your office and it turns that into an IP address beacon. Okay, enough said about that. So, if you have any questions, go ahead, submit them to our form, give us a call. You know we're here to help. You have a good day now.